Yep. Why are you retrying this? Well, first of all, I need to let you know that Judge Giz has put a gag order on this, so I can only speak generally about mm -hmm. why we retry cases. Uh, one of the factors that goes into it is the magnitude of the case. Like if this was a shoplifting case, chances are we probably wouldn't retry it, unless they had a horrible record. Um, and we had an opportunity to speak with the jurors that were in the room. We learned that they had voted 10 to 2 to convict of voluntary manslaughter. And in many, many cases that we handle to decide retrial, we base the, the potential vote total on that. So with that overwhelming potential for guilt on one of the counts, um, the magnitude of this case, that's why we're retrying the case. Ted, did you consider adding a lesser charge? Well, the judge can do that. Um, judge Giz can do that at, um, she can do that right before the jury gets the thing. She can add those, char before she charges the jury, she can add lesser included offenses. And I suspect she will. This had to be one of the greatest disappointments of your career. Um, well, we didn't lose. If we had lost, I would have thought that. But um, a hung jury, I mean, anyone who says they haven't lost a jury trial, they are not trying juries because you just don't know what they're going to do. And in this case, we, um, we were mildly optimistic, but you just, you know, when you're dealing with police officers and things like that, um, it's kind of a crapshoot. Was there anything you wish you could have done differently in retrospect? You know, I've looked at, uh, I've looked at the videos of the first trial and um, the other things I would have done different. Um, I wish I was more eloquent and I wish I had been more persuasive to the jury. But, you know, I am who I am and I did my best. Did it teach you anything what the jury decided? Did it teach you anything about humanity, about Hamilton? Well, I mean, when we were going into the case, uh, people who I respect a great deal said, you're never going to get a unanimous verdict because it's a police officer. And I just kind of poo-pooed it. But, um, we had two jurors who would not convict a police officer, period. And we had 10 that were willing to do it. So it really depends on the jury that comes forth in, in the next week or so to, to determine whether or not we're gonna be successful. Um, I'm convinced, um, or I wouldn't have sought the charges. So without getting into details, you know, we gotta go forward and we will and hopefully we have people that follow their oaths. One of the things that a lot of people will quarterback, you know, Monday yep. morning quarterback on you is voir dire, that it only took a day, that it was so fast. Right, I mean, you only have a certain number of uh, preemptory challenges and if you can't knock them out for cause, um, we had, our initial uh, panel was, I thought, very favorable to us. But then we had people who didn't want to serve, they, did, they wanted off jury duty, and you know, then you start bringing in other people. And um, there's really nothing much you can do about it. You know, you can ask people all kinds of questions and some people will tell you the truth and some people won't. Did it ever feel political to you that you needed no. to retry this case? No, never, never. If the vote had been 10 to two to acquit, we wouldn't be retrying the case. And you believe in your heart of hearts, he's guilty. Or are you not well, I'm not allowed to say that. Okay, understood, understood. But I let me tell you this, as a general rule, if I didn't believe somebody was guilty, I would not have sought an indictment. And if I didn't believe we could prove it in court, I would not have sought an indictment. So, 
I hope that answers your question. Tell me about your team going forward. You're not retrying this. That's correct. Seth, Seth Teeger and Stacy DeGraff and Reed are trying it. They're both highly experienced, very good trial lawyers. And um, I have a great deal of confidence in them or they wouldn't be doing it. A few days after the hung jury, you said you probably would not retry the case. Personally. Personally. Right. Uh, that you specifically would not try, retry Well, we've got um, Anthony Kirkland coming up this summer. He killed four girls in our case. He killed a fifth girl in a prior case. And as much as I would like to try Tenzing's case again, there's just no way we can do that with a capital murder case coming up. Anything else? Nope.